Well, welcome back. You are yep. just in time for our favorite oh, yeah. So if you've got your lunch, grab it. Come on to the TV because it's time for, are you ready? I'm so ready. It's time <laughs> so for Hot, Hot Topics. topics. Yes. All right, well, Britney Spears announcing that she's going to do another residency in Las Vegas. Yes. Oops, I did, did it again. again. I love Britney. Let me just tell you, I'm okay. a huge Britney fan, so I might have to make another trip to Vegas to see her. Just to see Britney. She did make the announcement over the weekend. Now, tickets for her new show, it's called Domination. Yeah, it is. I like that. They go on sale this week. Spears' first residency in Sin City ended just last year in 2017. Earned her $140 million wow. over the four-year period that she was there. Also, Aerosmith and Lady Gaga will also have Vegas shows. So, maybe we should take Good Day to Las Vegas. I totally think we should take Good Day to Las Vegas. I'm down for it. I mean, you just went to that J-Lo show. Yes. We've got yes. Britney happening. I mean, yes. come on. Uh, Vegas is the place to be. Clearly, she was really popular and had to have been absolutely pretty good for her to have another residency. Not sure which hotel she'll be at. She was at Planet Hollywood. Not sure which hotel right. she would do her residency in um, this time. But definitely would keep yeah. an eye on that one. I'm excited about that. Stay tuned for more details yeah. on that then. Hey, <laughs> they say you never forget your first great pizza. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Is that, I think it is true. I think, I, th I think so. Yeah, mm -hmm. and if that's the case for one couple in Michigan who ordered a pie every payday from their favorite restaurant, but plans to return to their other favorite place, to their favorite place ended when the husband was diagnosed with cancer. Not wanting him to miss out on a delicious slice, the pizza delivery guy drove 225 miles away to deliver two pizzas. Now there is great customer service. I love this. The husband was in hospice and yes. so he was farther away from where their favorite pizza place was. The delivery guy got in his car and drove pizza to this couple. I, I mean 225 that. miles is not close and I love that their Absolutely favorite pizza not. joint was that far away. They were like that's a great slice of pie. I'm going to get it. it. Yeah. I love that. Great customer service. Yeah. I love that. All right. Well, some couples get some couples break in a marathon for like some water right. just to take a breath. Not this one couple. Nope. One couple decided to change exchange I do's just in the middle of halfway. the Detroit Marathon. One of life's greatest moments. I love that. Yeah. Just running and you say, you know what? Real quick, let's just get married. Just real quick halfway right here. Through. There's let's people still struggling behind them, like I've got to finish <laughs> what's happening over there. <sighs> but their friends were there, they had like their rings and a veil. You see the bride's got a veil on and balloons to help them celebrate. So they were able to finish the race as Mr. and Mrs. Here's something else. The story does not stop there. Of course not. The wife, actually, this is her first marathon in a little bit because she was hit by a car and has gone through several surgeries. The doctors didn't even think she would walk again. And then the husband has been on his own journey. He lost 100 pounds. Wow. So what a great couple. That's amazing. Yeah, I love That's that story. Huge milestones yeah. for them. And they stopped halfway through. I hope that they finished the race. They did. They I, did. Okay. They did. They crossed great. the finish line as Mr. and Mrs. That's amazing. Love that. Hey, uh, Netflix, we've been hearing a lot of news about Netflix recently. Yes. They have pulled the plug on Marvel, another Marvel show. Mm -hmm. The streaming service announced that uh, Luke Cage will <sighs> no longer be back. He's not going to come back for a third season. In a joint statement with Marvel over the weekend, both companies thank the show's cast and crew as well as the fans for their support. Luke Cage joins Iron Fist, the second Marvel show to be canceled by Netflix within a week. Uh, sad about this it's one. It's sad, I know. It's one of my favorite ones, but I kind of get it. If you're a fan of like the Defenders on Netflix, you know it's Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, right. Darren Iron Devil, Fist, Iron Fist, yep. so many. It's just, it may be too much, right. too much of a good thing. A little thing. bit oversaturation, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So, But the, uh, there's a new series of Daredevil coming out, right? Yes. Maybe it has dropped, yes. I'm not sure. Um, and that looked, that looked out. exciting. Yeah. Absolutely. So. So yeah, so you win some, you lose some. Look at what bites the dust. Bye bye, Luke Cage. <laughs> we'll see you again. I'm sure mm -hmm. he'll be back somewhere doing something. Yeah. Hey, make sure you find, like, and follow us. Mm -hmm. We're on social media posting giveaways, videos, hot topics, and more. Just search Good Day in WA on Facebook and Instagram.